so Roe v. Wade is gone. Everyone knows this by now. Um, I don't have anything specific to say about Roe v. Wade that hasn't been said. I understand people are outraged. I think they should be outraged. The polling data is very clear. There has never been more support for Roe v. Wade in the past 49 years than there is right now. Roe v. Wade did not get overturned because as a country, we democratically decided that abortion is something we don't want in our country. It got decided because the moral majority, these conservative Christians that have spent decades lobbying um, and decades intertwining church and state have gotten people into positions of power and now these people are cashing the checks, okay? When you think about these justices, five of the nine justices that are on the Supreme Court were put in by presidents who did not win the popular vote. Two of them came by Bush, an election decided by, funny enough, another Supreme Court case, um, that came down to Florida that determined that Florida was not allowed to do a recount in a state where the votes in the original count were decided by 359, that the Supreme Court decided a recount is not allowed. So Bush becomes president and boom, you get two Supreme Court justices. In 2015, Mitch McConnell in the Senate, the Senate where the state of Montana with under a million people has the same say as the state of California with 40 million. Okay, that Senate says, nah, I understand that you're trying to appoint a Supreme Court justice uh, in 2015, but guess what? There's going to be an election in a year and we can kneel out the clock and it worked. So Barack Obama doesn't get to appoint a Supreme Court justice. Donald Trump comes in with one Supreme Court justice uh, to appoint very quickly. Um, and then he gets two more in his term. So five of the nine Supreme Court justices that are on this bench right now, that's your majority, are appointed by right-wing presidents that did not win the popular vote. And that is really something. And when we talk about the Supreme Court as going crazy and it's very clear that your average american is losing a lot of faith in the supreme court as they should it's not just roe v wade roe v wade being overturned is horrible but let's be clear in the past two months the supreme court has also decided that you can conceal carry a gun anywhere whether that's a school, a bar, that that you don't need any sort of special permit for this, like what you had in this uh, New York, that taxpayer dollars have to go to funding private religious education, that they've decided that innocence isn't enough, that even if you have provable evidence that you are innocent in a case, uh, in, in certain appeals, that it cannot be submitted to the court because the Supreme Court doesn't want to see too many appeals happen. Uh, like, these are the kinds of decisions that have been happening just in the past two months. And I'm going to do a future video going into more specifics on these cases. But what you have to understand is that this Supreme Court hates you, and they will not stop. Okay, they do not represent the interests of the majority, and they are not out to protect the rights of your basic citizen. They are out to be just another wing of the Republican army, okay? That's how the Supreme Court is. It's just another political tool. These are partisan figures, and for too long, we have allowed them to get away under this guise that they're removed from it all that they're separate, that they're not partisan, that they just have different interpretive frameworks. No, no. The Supreme Court justices appointed by Republicans just so happen to enforce laws that align with whatever the Republican Party currently wants. That's how it goes. So how do you get laws that you want how do you get things like your access to abortion guaranteed at a federal level? How do you get things like gun control? How do you get things like 
a better better defense for for the innocent or even things um that haven't come to supreme court cases yet but you know it will in the future things like access to contraception things like ensuring that gay marriage still remains around or what about health care like honestly if if bernie sanders was president right now and and he could get health care the way he wanted you know free access to health care for everyone and it goes through the house and it goes through the senate the Supreme Court would overturn it. Of course they would. Like, not even a question in my mind. Uh, and that's another policy that plenty of Americans are in favor of, okay? Or what about things like, uh, I don't know, like when we talk about a lot of these union disputes, a lot of these are going to courts. How do you think this Supreme Court is going to rule when it comes to union disputes? They're not going to be on the side of the worker. They're going to be on the side of the corporations. Um, we don't know the extent to which the Supreme Court will go, but we do know it won't go in a direction that your average American wants. So how do we fix this? Look, there's no simple fixes. Um, the, the Supreme Court was not designed for this level of partisanry. Um, I mean, I hear people talk about, you know, oh, the Supreme Court doesn't have term limits. True. I think term limits would be great. Um, that that the, the nomination and selection process has been horribly, you know, manipulated in the past 20 years. True. I mean, the fact that all of these justices in their nomination processes explicitly say, or at least as explicitly as any Supreme Court justice nominee does, that they are for Roe v. Wade and they don't want it overturned. And then the second they get in power, they do the opposite. There should be some level of repercussions. True. But you know how you get any of this stuff? You vote blue and you ignore these distractions that the conservative outrage machine constantly gets. Like Joe Biden fell off a bike. This is like a talking point on national television on Fox News that all these conservative YouTubers are talking about. Who cares? Who, who cares? This is such a distraction, okay? Abortion rights affect you. Gun control affects you. Healthcare affects you. Contraception access affects you. Who cares? Or or already they're trying to begin smear campaigns against Kamala Harris um, in case she runs in 2024. Talking about she seems robotic. I Okay. Like, this is a distraction. We need voters that are better than this. Voters who understand what they care about and then vote accordingly. Um, like... If your average American voted based on the things they genuinely care about, we would get Democratic politicians who are then able to put in Democratic Supreme Court justices who will work to protect the rights you currently have to, to get back things like federal access to abortion and to ensure that the average American gets more rights. But as long as people fall for Republican distractions in the media, and then vote Republican or don't vote or vote for a third party candidate. We're not going to get that. That that's how the Republicans win. Look, if you're upset about Roe v. Wade or if you're upset about the other Supreme Court cases that have already happened or you're worried about what the Supreme Court's going to do in the future, the solution is to get out in the midterms and vote blue. It's in 2024 to vote blue because whenever new Supreme Court justices come in, I guarantee you any Democratic candidate is going to have better appointees than Trump or Ron DeSantis or whoever else the Republicans run in the 2024 election. So look, I think you should be upset if you care about abortion, which the average American does, and bottle that up. Save it for six months. Get out to the polls. Save it till 2024. Get out to the polls and you will start to see policies you care about enacted in legislation. Thanks for watching Pip Speaks. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next video.